H. H. Holmes, born in 1861, was one of the first known serial killers in American history. He may have killed up to 200 people. He often took his victims to his hotel next to the World's Fair in Chicago. Holmes was the son of Methodist farmers and excelled in school. His smarts led to bullying and he pinpoints the incident in which he became obsessed with the dead back in grade school. His classmate put him face to face with a skeleton. At first he was scared and then fascinated. Holtz did marry and had a wife and son. Early on his marriage he enrolled in med school and stole cadavers that he disfigured in a plot to collect insurance money. Eventually his marriage dissolved. Holmes then went from city to city and had trouble holding down jobs. Holmes eventually landed in Chicago where he worked at a drugstore he eventually purchased. He made a lot of money selling water he claimed could cure the sick. He then put the money into building a hotel across the street from the drugstore. The hotel was a literal house of horror. Holmes killed his female employees and his lovers here. Eventually he took to killing guests. He installed pipes that could asphyxiate his guests whenever he wanted. Holmes eventually was catched by his own doing. When he was arrested on fraud charts, he concocted a life insurance scam with a cellmate. When he failed to pay up when they were both out of prison, his cellmate told some of his secrets to the police. The cops eventually went to investigate Holmes, house of horror and uncover plenty of evidence to put Holmes away forever. Holmes was eventually executed in 1896 for murdering Benjamin Peterson, who helped him contrast the hotel.